Welcome to Common Sense TV. I'm your host, E.T. Williams, the doctor of common sense. We have a new way to fight crime in Chicago. I've never seen it done like this before, but uh, Laurie Heavyfoot, skirt, I'm sorry, Laurie Lightfoot, the cheer pet down there, has decided that she has a brand new way of fighting crimes, doing karaoke. I bet you never I bet you've never heard this before, have you? Yes. In order to stop crime, crime is up down there. I don't know if you knew there's a net, carjackings, the whole nine yards. Watch this surveillance video from the Sitco gas station in the 200 block of Northwestern Avenue. At around 1 o'clock this morning, a dark vehicle hems in a car parked between the pumps. Then the victim is surrounded by three people. One assailant goes to the driver's side, another to the passenger side, and a gunman in gray sweats comes out with his weapon extended. We've stopped the video before shots are fired. Police say when the 46-year-old victim refused to give up his car, he was shot in his groin and thigh. His attackers got away, and police say the victim will recover. Overnight, there was a series of armed robberies, and while police have not linked them at this point, they all follow a similar pattern. A little over an hour after the Sitco shooting, a 39-year-old man sitting in his parked car near Roosevelt and Canal was surrounded by four people who got out of a dark truck. The victim crashed his car while trying to get away. Then a similar robbery near Wintrust Arena at Prairie and 21st Street. A dark truck pulls up, Three armed assailants get out and rob a 57-year-old man in his parked car. In Little Italy on Taylor Street, the same thing, a dark truck and gunman, this time targeting a 62-year-old man in his parked vehicle. The pattern continuing throughout the early morning hours in Old Town and River North where the victims who were all, they were also in parked cars and they were confronted by three or four armed men robbed and beaten. Police say those victims. The mayor down there is decided because she has the biggest D in Chicago. She decided that's what she said. I don't know why people get mad when I say I'm just repeating what the but very prestigious mayor said. They're allegedly adding, I am trying to keep Chicago police officers from being shot and you were trying to get them shot. My bleep is bigger than yours and the Italians and I have the biggest bleep in Chicago. About her telewacker. Uh, she is doing karaoke in order to uh, solve the crime problem. Now, while you're doing karaoke, you may get pistol whooped in the karaoke club while you are doing karaoke. But the good news is the good mayor is down here singing, doing Billie Jean, the whole nine yards. Nine yards. Because she wants to stop crime. And anybody knows if you can just lighten the spirit by singing, Hee hee hee, the whole nine yards. You can stop crime in your city. Now, I don't know why y'all haven't thought about this in the first place because this is the reason crime is so high. I'm sorry, crime is so low because the mayor's doing a fantastic job down in Chicago. Yes, they, every time you look around, there's somebody be having their vehicle taken. He's probably slow dancing with a bleach blonde tramp And she's probably getting thirsty Right now, he's probably buying her some fruity little drink Cause she can't shoot a whiskey Right now I believe it's a loaner car It's like a loaner program It's when you tell the people you need to borrow their car And uh, you haven't made an appointment to borrow the car We don't care if it's Enterprise or Hertz car rental They have a nice vehicle And you may need to do some things with their vehicle so you need them to remove themselves out of the vehicle. And you may even use uh, some type of instrument in your hand and tell them that if you don't uh, break yourself off out of this vehicle, that is going to be some uh, unnecessary force. Let's just put it like that because we want to keep it real, real friendly since this great idea of karaoke has been demonstrated by the good mayor down there. She's doing a fantastic job. It's probably up behind her with a blue stick showing her how to shoot a combo. 
she tells you, she shows you how to get your, because uh, making it a sanctuary city and making a gun-free zone, that has cured the problem. See? This is a prime example of how you cure the problem. Look at the way she's curing the problem. She made it a gun-free zone, sanctuary city, and now she's singing karaoke since she has the biggest D in Chi-Town. You do know that, right? Because mm -hmm. Michelle moved. Uh, I guess it's okay for her to say that since Michelle has moved out. Uh, Michelle don't stay in Chicago no more. So I guess, I'm sorry, did I say Michelle? I mean Big Mike. Uh, she don't live in Chicago no more. So therefore, uh, it may be acceptable for her to say things like this. But karaoke is the way you stop crime in your city. I don't know why more people have tried to so see. Y'all don't have, y'all not willing to take a risk and get out there and, and let, the, let your hair down. Cause she let her hair down, her afro, it was down. I mean, I guess it was down. But she was walking, strutting, and uh, singing on the microphone like, mic check, mic check. She's doing a whole nine, you know, I think you're doing a fantastic job in Chicago. What does the citizen say about this? Because it seems that the midterm is coming up, right? Mm-hmm. So your, your way of getting people to vote for you is sing karaoke. It seems like a brilliant idea. I'd have never thought about this one, but I guess this is why she's the mayor, because she's so brilliant. Down there. Mm -hmm. uh, are you planning on doing like a remake of the Beetlejuice? Just, just wondering. Uh, remake of the Beetlejuice, because I think you did a fantastic job on that movie there. The Beetlejuice, and I love I love the way she dances. She's such a great, fantastic dancer too. She dances, she sings, she gets crammed up in her city. Mm -hmm. Take your guns, make it a sanctuary city, and then tells you if you want to have a parade. Don't be out here measuring yourself because uh, she's packing. That's all I'm gonna say. She's she's packing out there. Great job there, uh, Laura Heavyfoot. I'm glad you're the mayor down there because you have really cleaned up Chicago.